Hey y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. And along this section of boardwalk between Medlock and Mason Mill Park, there's a special grove of trees. And I wanna introduce you to one of them. The bark of this tree is unique because it's kind of long and ropey and peels off. It's really a beautiful tree bark. And its leaves, its leaves are often mistaken for elm or river birch. But this is the part of the tree that's unmistakable. These are its fruit. And they look really, really similar to a product used to make this. Brewmasters use hops, a vine that produces the bitter taste that we think of when we're drinking beer, particularly IPAs. Look at them side by side. Similarity, but definitely not the same. The scientific name is Ostrea virginiana. I never get those right. So Ranger Jonah, why should I care about a tree? Well, first of all, you have those really interesting hop-like fruits. And also, once they're brown and dry, not like these green ones here, in the fall, you can pop open those fruits and there are seeds that I haven't eaten yet, but I've been told are edible. Also, for many thousands of years, hop hornbeam has been prized for the strength of its wood. It's been used to make uh, runners for sleighs and bows. But the reason I got turned on to hop hornbeams originally is partially because our park here at Mason Mill has one of the larger hop hornbeam groves that I've found in the Atlanta metro area. And I found an interesting genetic malfunction on some of our hop hornbeams. It's called witch's broom. And last winter, I found some cases of witch's broom in a hop hornbeam tree and took a video. Check it out. Now what I'm gonna show you is something called witch's broom. And I usually find it growing on an understory tree called the hop hornbeam. If you look up in the branches of a hop hornbeam, you'll oftentimes find these little bundles of sticks, like that one. Some people think that they look like a witch's broom made out of sticks. I think they look more like a bird or squirrel nest, but it's actually part of the tree. A genetic malformation caused by some kind of damage, uh, bacteria or virus, or a pest. And it causes the tree to grow these funny bird nest-like shapes. Cool, huh? So next time you're in the forest, be on the lookout for the hop hornbeam tree and its cousin with very different bark, the American hornbeam. This is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County. See you next time.